Hi, I'm Finish. I'm going to be talking about one of our uh, medical classes, biomedical classes. It's called Principles of Biomedical Science. And one of the things we did in the beginning of this year was learn about the spread of epidemics, and we really focused on the spread of the Black Plague. So to enforce this learning, we did an activity. In this activity, we had a map and a route that we would take as travelers through ancient Europe. And at each city that we got to, we would roll a die. And so, see, I got a one. So there would be a bean in this bag. Then I would take one bean, and if it had an X on it, that means I would I caught the plague. And if it was uh, clear, then that means I was clear. And then um, I would go into the next city. And so when you got an X, you would die, and then you would restart with a new route. Very cool. Um, so through this, it's a thing to learn because if you want to study the Black Plague or epidemic scientist, uh, this really comes in use for that. Um, you could use this because it, it really like it's kind of like contract tracing because where you've been and who you've uh, talked to. So if you're looking at a field in that, it's so like stop epidemics or sicknesses. It's really good and helpful for this. So the class is Health Science Careers Explorations and there's a lot of different like modules and it talks about different, every day is like a different learning experience and stuff. Sometimes you're doing it on a computer with worksheets, sometimes you're doing it hands on like this. Uh, this is nursing with the sutures and we learned how to tie a suture and how to make a suture on a leg. and. So it's really different from like, normal learning because you know what to do and you have like, two practice things you can work on. So we made the protective eyewear in biomedical innovations. In innovations, we act like biomedical engineers, kind of. We build tools from materials, then we make the tools that biomedical engineers would use. Um, when we did this, I learned that it's kind of complicated to make it because you have to think about all the what it would be like if someone was actually playing field hockey or the sport that you're making it for. And also that there is money constraints, like you can't just buy everything, and you have to be careful with the materials that you use. And why I like this class is because we do projects basically all the time, and it's very fun. The design challenge was to, was to make a protective eyewear that goes with a certain sport, like we did field hockey. So we had to make sure it was easy to see in the sun, it could let it couldn't let in rocks and um, grass, and it would be adjustable. That's why.